What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy power sword effect for your Warhammer 40k miniatures. This can be used for any miniature that requires a slightly magical effect on their blade. I think this is a great alternative to wet blending which takes hours and uh, lots of patience and practice. Uh, this method I'm going to show you is very easy, very simple. Uh, you can do it quickly on a large squad of guys and it has a really nice looking results. So let's get started. Um, I find that the layer blending method of doing power swords, uh, while looking amazing, is extremely time consuming and um, takes a lot of practice to not mess up. Uh, so instead I'm going to show you a quick way to do it and uh, that will have pretty nice results. Uh, so let's get started. So first off I'm going to use Stormhost Silver and I have coated all the power swords with Stormhost Silver to make a nice shiny silver color. This will help the metal stand out underneath the glaze that we're going to do next. So the second part is we're going to use Gullum and Blue glaze. So I'm going to apply the Gullum and Blue almost directly to the blades. I'm going to use my palette, but I'm not going to thin it down. If you want a more subtle power sword blue glowing effect, you can always thin it down a little bit with some Lamy Medium. But for me, I want my power swords looking very powerful. So I'm going to take some of this. And I'm going to use my palette and let's get started. So the technique I've learned is to just apply it, but when you apply it, you need to make sure that it is sitting and drying evenly. When you apply it, you want to make sure that it doesn't pull in certain areas that you don't want it to and it pulls in the right spots. Because if you see right there how it naturally kind of seeps into the recesses or the flat areas and then when there's like that edge on the blade right where the edges are there's that silver line you can kind of see that is what we're trying to keep so i'm going to apply this to both sides this technique requires the gullman blue to dry in a very specific way uh let's say see this model since the sword is vertical if i stood them up like this you can see that the gullman blue is starting to work its way down the blade so I don't want that so instead I'm gonna hold it sideways and if you need to you can always just prop them up somewhere where his blade will be be flat um, also government blue can dry pretty quickly so if you wanted you could even just hold it like this all right we're gonna do it on this sword too it's very flat so it'll make it really easy so I'm just gonna do apply the government blue it helps if you kind of swipe your brush down and it kind of pulls all the paint off your brush onto the surface. As you can see, the blue effect on the sword already makes it look quite powerful, uh, as if there's electricity or energy flowing through it. Um, we're going to let this dry completely and then we're going to move on to the next step, which will really make it pop. All right, guys, so our yellow and blue has dried. Uh, I put two coats on the sword on the right and one coat on the sword on the left. And you see the difference. I just wanted to kind of show you. Uh, it's up to you. You can have as light or as dark as you want. kind of like the look of the very dark blue sword, though. It kind of gives it this nice, uh, nice, uh, very, like, powerful, magical feel to it. So uh, I'm going to finish these blades up with a little bit of storm host silver. I'm gonna do a storm host silver edge highlight on the blades. It's gonna really make them pop and bring that metal back out. I would normally say thin your paints like Duncan always says, but for edge highlighting, I generally find that having a drier brush makes it a lot easier. So I'm actually gonna take it directly from the pot, but I'm just gonna control how much I have by working it on a lid there. All right, so uh, this technique is just going to be following all these lines. So if you see this edge right here that goes down, and then also the edge of the blade in the top, I'm just gonna lightly, as thinly as possible, draw a line. And uh, the way I recommend doing this is dragging your brush downwards so that it's, as opposed to trying to go sideways like this, it's really difficult. So let's just drag our brush downwards. Let's start up from the top. There we go, you can see it pretty bright already. And then I'm just going to drag my brush down. 
very carefully. Really don't want to mess this part up, because if you do, you get to redo the gold and blue on the entire blade. Take your time with this, because uh, this is what's going to make it look really nice. Alright, so you see I got that edge going right there. Now the rest of it is actually quite easy, because then I'm just going to take the side of the blade. I'm just going to run my paintbrush against the edge, like this. That's why it's very quick takes no thought at all you get a nice edge going there also do it for the back of the blade all right so we have the silver added to the blades and it's really making those blades pop out and the final step is to take a little bit of white scar and just pick out the absolute most highlights And these highlights would be like this part right here. And also like the tip of the blade. Just right where the light would hit it the most. And the blades are complete. They're looking pretty fresh. Uh, this is the lighter one. This is the one with two coats. I kind of like them both. Uh, remember, the thinner your edge highlights are, the better and more legit it'll look. Um, but again, this is a very quick and easy way to do power swords. Um, you can spend hours and hours wet blending a single blade, and it'll look immaculate. But this is tabletop quality, and uh, that's generally what I try to paint my guys to uh, a little bit better than tabletop quality. So I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys, and hopefully uh, this will save you some time and you'll actually get your armies completed. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials like this. I'll do battle reports too coming soon. Um, let me know what you think in the comments if there's something I could have done better or um, if this tutorial helped you out a lot. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys next time.